Adding them in the marmalade made. One day, Paddington's friend, Mr. Groover, took him on an island and played gold, let them go palace. I think you enjoy it, Mr. Brown, he said to the junior. It was very hot, and in our thin room, one found a new thin have a live here. Paddington always enjoyed his house, Mr. Groover. He couldn't live inside the palace. If they made it soon enough, Mr. Groover pointed into a large clock. That's a very special clock, he said. It's not a shoe, a dog, a telephone, a mouthpiece. Perhaps we should hurry, Mr. Groover, said Paddington Angels. It's half past two already. They hadn't been inside the palace, and no, the film was in the bed of bedroom, and the scene. Queen Anne was asleep in this little Gruber. I said they put the rope in the sweet folly out of it at the music and said, but it is looking at all the people. This is now an enchanted gallery, Mr. Gruber. The, the house, the past and by, is confusing, all dry. But it's a shiver. I hope she's got a good mind, he said. Mr. Gruber took the Paddington to see the kitchen next. In the old days, the professor explained that was such a high scene. The king showed them a royal bank behind the Paddington. He lived in his lip, talking fine to Mr. Gruber. I think it's time to lunch. He'd made the way outside to sit down to get a little pool. That Paddington in suitcase and the rope to the sandwiches into the water. He's a son lies with goldfish. They must like marmalade, said Gruber. That's how it is named. When they finished sandwiches, Mr. Gruber took Paddington to the sea of green wine. It's very famous, he said. Every year they pick up 500 bricks and grapes. Imagine now. I'm trying to, Mr. Gruber, said Paddington. I think this is a great big gun. Hell. Mr. Gruber chuckled. I'm afraid you have a long wait, Mr. Brown. We can. It's 100 years old. Now, said Mr. Gruber, before we leave the most famous maze, sometimes we pick people hours to find a way out. I hope this is for us, said Paddington. My paws are getting tired. But love that time is too hot and Mr. Gruber. Much to his surprise, there were some mouths in the mouth of everyone rain the gold for. Hey, that sounds a great idea, said a man with striped shirt. Could you to wait about film a camera, said a Japanese lady. I have never said the real tall the nice lady. I want to say it too. Oh dear, whispered Mr. Gruber. They must be going with guides. What shall we do? Mrs. Burke would be at least a very well full of hope, he said Paddington. She was a small, tea, small teapot. Then he had an idea. Follow me, he called. I think we have to go to go in the maze after all. You show me the right thing, Mr. Gruber sat down behind. Bears, they put in maze, said Paddington. We need to be in dark room. The forest are very thick. And sure enough, the most full must have grubber time to say anymore. Paddington left the way out of the set inside. However, do you mind Mr. Brown? <laughs> I asked to Mr. Gruber. Queen Susan asked him the ticket office. I used marmalade check to show B. It's hard to me. I won't lose it to go before we went into the tar tar bear. But I thought you should do the sandwiches, said Mr. Gruber. I will always keep a spare one under by my butt in case and we have any emergency, said Paddington. It's his stuff the kiosk will follow about or he rub. All about his day, he said. That night, when he went to bed, he was supposed to guard. And Paddington took some rope. He 
planting green areas to do greenhouse, I will have to tell I use it and I don't want to fill on the bed before I finish.